In this video, I'm going to show you how to calibrate uh, Motorsound Pro using the FCAR application. Uh, for the calibration, we use a Sonic Touch Motorsound machine with attached GPS uh, tracking system. We use uh, an FCAR Phantom with three end wires. Um, you can find a tutorial uh, about how to build it on our wiki pages. We use a very simple custom made stylus which is basically a wooden stick with a sensor attached to it. <coughs> An F14-5 ultrasound probe with the built-in GPS and the rocket motor. So I'm starting the FK application from the plus app binary directory. And um, I select the, the proper configuration file uh, that you can find in the, in the package. Uh, if you want, have to edit this file, you can just click this button, edit whatever you want, the image acquisition type, the tracking, etc. So now I'm connecting to the device. The calibration consists of three steps. First, we have to calibrate the stylus, uh, determine the stylus stick position uh, in relation to the sensor. Then we're going to calibrate the, the phantom itself, and then, then the image to go. So as you can see, all the tools are visible. So I'm proceeding to the stylus calibration phase. <coughs> I'm using the full step to press buttons on the user interface but uh, you can ask anybody to press the button for you so I'm fixing the stylus to a point on the phantom this is practical because the phantom is the reference because this uh, sensor is attached to it very firmly so I start the calibration I move the stylus not very quickly around. You can see the points collecting, and the progress bar shows how close you are to finish the process. Yes, it's done. As you can see, the T point is computed, the error is about half millimeter. If you wanted, you could save the configuration file now using this uh, disk button and uh, continue from this point uh, if you load that file what to say but I'm now just proceeding to the phantom registration phase for this <coughs> I have to touch eight landmark points on the phantom you can see number one number two number three and four and four others on the other side so it says touch landmark name one and press the record button. So I'm touching the landmark, press the point. Number two, four, See on the user interface the phantom appeared and you can check if the blue dots correspond to the to the holes in the phantom. I think it's quite good. We can proceed to the rope calibration phase. This is very important because this is a step where the image to probe transform is uh, computed. So we're going to use a bucket of water and the phantom and uh, we have to make sure that the mark on the probe is at the marked side of the phantom because then the whole calibration would be invalid um, for people who, who use it for the first time it would be useful for to check the segmentation parameters I'm going to show you how. So I clicked the Edit Segmentation Parameter button on the toolbox. I uh, 
find find a good image and freeze it. So as you can see, the calibration is not successful at this point because this wire was not segmented. So if you see red dots, it means that uh, the segmentation algorithm could find the candidates but not the pattern. So it's better if I decrease this minimum dot size and you can see that it's already segmented. I'm satisfied with it, so I just click apply and close. You can save the configuration file if you want, but it's not necessary because we will save it at the end anyway. So start the calibration. Uh, what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to swipe through the, the wiring a couple of times and uh, rotate the phantom so I, I'm trying to use the most degrees of freedom possible so I dip it into water find a good place to start press start you can see the green dots in the image it means that the segmentation is successful on that particular um, image and you can see the progress bar moving so I'm scanning the phantom. I rotate it a bit. If some images are not added to the segmentation, it's not a problem because then the progress bar doesn't move. So you can continue whenever you find a good spot. Almost done. So, we calibrated the probe, here are the error statistics, you can see the error is uh, 1.6 mm, which is not too bad. Um, this error might be due to temporal calibration or the inaccuracy of the electromagnetic tracking. We can check the result of the calibration by clicking that um, I icon on the top. So you can see the wires inside the phantom and when you scan it, it should show that uh, the image is more or less in the right position. I can use the stylus to, to validate the previous uh, registrations. It's uh, quite straightforward. So now I want to save the, trend, uh, the uh, calibration results because I want to use it for acquisition and oil reconstruction. So I click the save. Click save. And now we're done with the calibration.